Hi, I'm Nancy. I live in a townhome in Winfield, Illinois. And about four years ago, after living in this townhome for about 12 years, I decided that I needed to keep up with uh, the integrity and the aesthetics of the unit and give it a little upgrade. So I started with a bathroom project, specifically the master bath. And uh, the unit came with the standard builder supply, faucets, and light fixtures and mirrors. And um, I decided to do some upgrades, and I started with the tile. And that's how I was introduced to Marinelli Construction and the gang. So um, starting, it can be a very overwhelming project when you're trying to do a home remodeling. So starting with the tile first and getting a good tile pattern, and I use the tile store, and um, I believe they're in uh, Lombard, Illinois, and one in Schomburg as well. And they did a great job helping me pick out a tile pattern and laying it all out. And they gave me a list of contractors to then start the process of getting it installed. And that's how the story begins, by calling the top four on the list and I have to tell you that uh, John specifically called me back, scheduled an appointment, and I had an estimate before anybody else even returned my call. So I was very impressed by the responsiveness and communication right from the get-go. But I did get a couple other estimates from contractors on the list, but I found them to be very competitive and excellent communication skills, and it was a good experience from day one. From there, we, um, with their help and what I was looking for, we worked to pick out um, uh, new faucets, light fixtures. We took off old mirrors and picked out new mirrors, and we did some new trim. Took down the old shower uh, contractor style, plain old vanilla, uh, cheap. Um, uh, shower doors, and we did custom glass that made it look really professional and upgraded appearance and made it actually a little bit bigger. Um, I actually kept the, the cabinets and just by doing a new hardware for all uh, handles and etc. for all the, the cabinetry, it actually turned out to be looking like I get compliments all the time. People think I replaced the cabinets and I really didn't. The same with just taking out uh, mirrors on both walls and going with just a new, just smaller oval made the actually the bathroom because it, it is a master bath and it is a townhome, so there's not a lot of space to work with, but it actually made it look a lot larger. And then completed by all new um, um, faucets and um, drains, and and again it gave it a whole new appearance. Followed, you know, finishing up with a complete painting. So we went ahead, and the tile, I think, really makes everything pop out. And that tile was consisted of all around the bath, uh, on the walls, and the floor. With um, That's their specialty, um, which I find that, uh, you know, they really did a first-rate job, and it really just kind of pops out and makes it a really stunning appearance when you come in, and a real show place. So I'm quite happy, and uh, then... Uh, uh, after a couple years later, again now I'm in the unit for about 14 years and wanted to keep up the, uh, the value of the home and for my own personal enjoyment put a little bit more money into it and I decided to finish the basement. That turned out to be uh, quite a hard project but it was fun and it was easy because I was starting with completely blank a space. Uh, it was there. It was just completely roughed in uh, from the con the original. I'm the original owner, and so there was no roughed in plumbing. But we simply, with um, John and I, took a piece of chalk, and we just, frankly, just uh, started sketching out where we would put walls and doors and outlets, and that became our our template, kind of a, a working canvas using just the, uh, you know, what was there instead of even trying to do it on paper and pencil. And it, it turned out really well. It, it was overwhelming, uh, but it was a lot of fun when you started putting together just one piece at a time. 
I felt very comfortable going back to the team because I had such a good experience with the bathroom that uh, always responsive, always neat, cleaned up, and the communication was very important. And probably the most important was a trust factor that I could go to work, I could leave the door open or give them a key, and I never had to worry that uh, they were taken care of and watch my house when I was, I was at work. So it became quite a process when you're doing a basement remodel. It is, uh, as you can see, uh, this is the finished product, but if, if you can imagine it with just cement walls and an all open area with just your furnace and hot water heater, um, <laughs> there's a lot of details that go into it and it can be overwhelming. But we actually just tackled it one thing at a time. The biggest hurdle was where's the layout of the, the doors and the walls and everything can go. And then just continue to work from there um, with cabinets and lighting and paint and carpet and, and the tile work that we picked out. Um, we also had to start because I didn't have uh, any roughed in for the plumbing so that was actually step one of just going through the the digging and the trenching to get the uh, plumbing in place. Um, and then of course the framing and then it all started going from there. Um, again the guys were very clean, uh, cleaned up their mess, uh, good communication, constantly reviewing the, the progress of the job and updating the time frame for completion. So all in all, I, I'm extremely pleased and have given um, numerous referrals. On occasion, I get a referral from somebody that's looking for an estimate from Marinelli Construction. And I'm happy to always give a testimonial because, as you can see, the finished product, I've added a, um, a bedroom down here, a little kitchen working area, uh, enclosed furnace room, another bathroom with a uh, shower, and then a fabulous area to uh, lounge around and watch TV or um, have, have parties on occasion. It, it holds a lot of space. Um, for me, the need was when I have out of time town visitors that it gives me additional space for my grandkids to, uh, to play without having all the toys upstairs in the, in the formal living room and uh, my daughter and her husband an extra bedroom to have some privacy so we're not all tripping over one another. So they've enjoyed Christmas, has been a lot happier having that extra room and space for everybody to spread out. Um, so all in all, uh, as you can see, we've done some really interesting things with the existing uh, structure of the ductwork, boxed it in, which made a very nice tray ceiling for a little uh, better aesthetic appearance. We've done the French doors with glass panes so we can continue to keep the sunlight coming in so we don't lose the sunlight from the window uh, so it's not so blocked off uh, in the bedroom so we can get that light in. And then I've got an extra counter for, uh, for those parties or entertaining to keep the dishes and the wine glasses and, and the party dishes down here as well as keeping the um, furnace room, quiet, but yet louvered for safety, and then nice storage space still under the stairs um, for keeping all the holiday decorations and other supplies out of the way. So that's my story. I'm more than happy to talk to anybody that might be interested in um, a little bit more about my experience with Marinelli Construction. Um, I have had people come in and take a look at their work. And I'm um, happy to, again, give referrals or go through any, any uh, details if uh, anybody's interested. So thank you, Marinelli Construction. I wish you well.